right, um, just want to get this real fast. There's the female. I know it's a little overexposed. She's sitting right in the middle of the, the spotlight. But, um, she's looking really fat. And I think that she's pregnant again. So one thing that I want to point out, when I first started getting into these monitors, I was always confused as to how people would tell the sex of the monitor. And uh, after having them for a little while, I've kind of gotten used to it. And I can tell that this is the female. Because if you look at her snout, I, now I don't know if it's because I've gotten used to it, or if it's because when I first got them they were young and you can't tell young apart. But as they age, they develop the sexual characteristics of adults. So if you look at the snout, you can see it's pretty narrow and it kind of tapers. Whereas um, on a male, they have kind of a ridge where the nostrils are. And there she goes. But you can see she's pretty fat. That was the point that I wanted to make. Anyway, so uh, the, the males have more of a ridge where their nostrils are. Uh, kind of like the way a savanna monitor or a black throat monitor's face looks in that sense where their uh, their nose kind of has a ridge on it um, and with these kind of monitors dwarf monitors you don't really see that too much but in the males you see it a little bit more it's very subtle and then in the females they have more of a uh, contouring taper that's that's more smooth relatively um, so that's that. I just want to say that. Also, the males have much thicker tails, and females' tails are a little thinner. But um, as you can see, this this female is very elusive, and she doesn't really like to be photographed, so or videotaped. So she went back in there. But I'm gonna let her stay out and bask because I think she's got some eggs. So that's that.